something in the morning headed out looking rough started off rough Bo Uber driver wouldn't help us put the bags in the car didn't even acknowledge us then the bags wouldn't fit in his little Tesla the bad part about it it was a brother. But, as the song goes, one monkey don't stop no show. Landed in Chicago, first leg of the flight. My bad. I just pushed her off the escalator. Making our way downtown. This is an unspoken fight. Okay, y'all, I had to make this portion of the video. So we land, get to the airport. Um, and uh, it was pure chaos. The airport was super packed. Nobody could really tell you where to go. And this is where it uh, got a little funky as far as uh, people pushing and shoving. And uh, we were at one gate and then they announced over the PA system that it was another gate that we had to be at, which was um, I say almost uh, a block down within the airport if I could like cut, try to measure it. And we had to go down um, an escalator and then walk down some more. Now, mind you, it is a group of probably 80 people moving in a herd, pushing and shoving. And this group is going through a crowded airport 
where other people are standing around and going in the opposite direction, the same direction, sideways, you know. So uh, we went down to that gate, uh, which was on a lower level, got down to that gate. You had to go and show your uh, ticket to the ticket agent, and she was standing in, uh, right in front of a set of doors leading to the outside. Showed her your ticket and your visa. Once you did that, you waited in line with the crowd that was still pushing. Like, I don't know where they thought they were going to go. But uh, you get out the doors, wait, and jumped on a crowded bus. Um, the bus took you, went past maybe like six airplanes, and it turned back around and then came back and brung us to a plane. This is the first time I have ever um, experienced getting off a bus right at the plane and walking up uh, the stairs to uh, get on the plane. Not complaining, just it was the first time uh, being on the, uh, you know, right out there with the plane. So that was different. Uh, the steps was a little rocky once you got to the top. It was felt like it was bobbing and weaving, but we got on the plane. Plane took off, and uh, we were on our way to uh, Dar Salaam, Tanzania. <laughs> Finally, finally, finally made it to Africa. Um, over 23 hours, long flights. Uh, got in, uh, it was like a day, day and a half. Uh, left from Detroit to Chicago. Chicago to Addis Ababa. And then from there uh, to here. So we've had an adventure. We got here, uh, no cell phone service. And uh, from a, a consultation I did with T3 and me, they had told me, Siobhan had told me that I needed to uh, go get a SIM card. But, uh, I have two phones. My wife has one. And we're on different services. So it was better for us to get this, which is a mobile hotspot. And you're able to use that uh, on all of the phones. Plus, uh, I had to get uh, the minutes on it to last 14 days. The lady said I got over the amount that she thinks we need. But we do use the Internet a lot. Man, when I tell you. Ethiopian Airlines. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but uh, most definitely it has been an adventure getting here, but I'm glad I'm here. I'm finally touching down on the motherland, which is so exciting to me. Uh, we are waiting on the driver to get to the hotel, and I will keep y'all posted. <laughs> 